Good day and welcome to Mastering Dropbox. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Dropbox onto your computer. Now, on the previous one, I showed you how to sign up and access Dropbox, which uh, this is where I left you off to on that video. So as you can see, when you uh, sign up for Dropbox for the very first time, the first thing it prompts you on the very top is to download Dropbox onto your computer. Now, if if this is the first time accessing it, this is great. However, sometimes you, uh, you reinstall your computer or you don't have access to this anymore. So you can always go to uh, www.dropbox.com forward slash downloading, or you can do like I did and just search Google for download Dropbox. And it brings you to this page here. As soon as you go to this page, it will automatically prompt you to download it so you don't have to click on anything however i canceled that to show you the screen so i'm going to go ahead and um, restart the download actually uh before i do that um i actually uh let me uh show you i went ahead and installed windows in a virtual uh, oracle virtual box so i actually have a fresh install of windows 7 installed just for us to play around with in Dropbox. So instead of uh, downloading it here, which I was going to do, I'm actually going to go ahead and do that right in Windows uh, that I have set up. So hopefully this works out. I've never recorded a video inside of an operating system inside of another one. So this, uh, this is a first for me. So let's give this a try. So I went ahead and... Um, That would explain a couple things. All right. All right. So I went in, uh, loaded the website here, and I'm going to go ahead and sign in now. And as before, we have the download Dropbox on the top. And like I mentioned previously, I went to Google. Now I'm in Canada, so I just chose Canada. And I typed in down, download Dropbox. And I click the first link, and it brought me to this page. And as I said before, when you go to this page, it prompts you automatically to download it. It all depends on the version that you, of uh, browser you run and things like that. And as you can see, it did prompt me. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm just going to throw it right on my desktop. All right, so that's been downloaded here. I'm going to go ahead and install it now. So you just go ahead and double-click on it, choose Run. When you're prompted, go ahead and choose yes, and allow the, the installer to install. So I'll just take another second here now, and that'll be finished installing. And like I said, uh, if if this confuses you, I am running Windows 7 inside of an Oracle virtual box. And that basically is a program you can install on your computer where you can run other operating systems inside of it. It's great if you're uh, wanting to test out a new version of Windows, for example, or if you wanted to, uh, if you had software that only ran on older versions of Windows and things like that. There's a lot of benefits to having the ability to run uh, Windows inside of another one. This is all self-contained, uh, so it's it's very safe. If you if you're concerned about getting viruses from certain files that you download, you can always install those those files on a virtual Windows and then run your scans on it. And this will keep your computer clean. Another useful thing too is if you're like me and you do tutorials and you want to test out different types of software, then you can install it inside of here and it's not cluttering up your com computer. Because if you know anything about computers, every time you install a, a program and uninstall it, it doesn't truly uninstall. And over time, you'll end up cluttering your computer and causing it to slow down. So this is a great way to keep all of that separated and isolated from anything else you do on your computer. So this is now uh, downloaded uh, to your computer and installed. And you can click on open your Dropbox. 
and it will prompt you through some of the very basics. So I'm going to keep going here now in this video, but I'm going to wrap up this video now very shortly. So yeah, it starts off, welcome to Dropbox Shannon, or whatever your name is obviously. Go ahead and click on get started. Dropbox is a folder on your computer. It works like your documents or, fo or photos folder and also does a lot more. Go ahead and click next. Follows you put in your Dropbox folder automatically backed up on your on dropbox.com. I mentioned that in a previous video. Everything you put in Dropbox is private unless you choose to share it. So it's all uh, it's all on your computer. It's all backed up in your Dropbox account. So it's all private and it's uh, encrypted as well. So it's it's fairly it's pretty uh, secure. You can drop drag and drop files into your Dropbox folder. And that's it. So right now we have uh, Dropbox installed here on the uh, computer. If you took notice just then, uh, like we just installed Dropbox, but if you uh, took notice when we logged into our Dropbox, oh, I, let me go back here. When we logged into our Dropbox originally, you saw that we had a file that was created by Dropbox called Get Started with Dropbox.pdf. If you look here, when Dropbox created this folder on your computer called Get called Dropbox, it automatically added this file, Get Started with Dropbox.pdf. So it automatically synced what's in your Dropbox folder. Now this uh this is like a little get to know Dropbox area. So as you can see, we downloaded Dropbox, so it recognized it. Now if we add a, or we connect it to Google account. Now if we added a file to Dropbox, this would be checked off. If we shared a link, that would be done. If we shared a folder, that would be done. If we invited friends, and if we downloaded the app. So I'll go through, I'll end up going through all of these anyway in future videos. But that's where I'm going to wrap up this video too. So I showed you how to download Dropbox from two different locations and install it onto your computer. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. As I, as I said, I have plans to release many, many, many videos in the future and getting into some really in-depth stuff in Dropbox. So look forward to uh, hearing from you. Look forward to uh, the future videos and have a great day.